Nigerian soldiers, operatives of anti graft agency EFCC, engage in gun battle in Ogun State. And these have generated so many reactions, so many questions, you know, by Nigerians. The battle ensued following the invasion of the hotel by EFCC operatives during a social function. You are welcome to the news. Operatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, were in a gun battle with military personnel on Saturday night at Binga Danes Conference Hotel at Biokuta, the Ogun State capital. The battle ensued following the invasion of hotel by EFCC operatives during a social function, during which they were shooting indiscriminately in the head, which gets many injured. The action compared some of the attendees to invite the soldiers, which led to a shootout between the anti graft agency officials and the soldiers. The reason for the invasion of the hotel by the commission's operatives and if there were any casualties could not be ascertained at the time of filing this report. The videos of the incident were posted by some Twitter users early Sunday morning. In the video posted by an eyewitnesses, gunshots and screams could be heard with people expressing shock and apprehension. This is the video of ESCC agents' invention of Binga Daniel's conference hotel last night. This is terrifying and totally unacceptable. Nigeria can be, cannot be a replace. This is a cruel stimulation. Someone said in Yoruba, God, don't let me die like this. Nowhere is safe in Nigeria again. On Twitter, one Sami tweeted, so they got information that soldiers are on their way. They had to run away, but had a shootout with the soldiers that lasted for hours. In other posts, men, man of letters, later to, to Jack tweeted the video with a comment. This is the video of the SEC agent invention of Bengal Danes Conference Hotel last night. This is terrifying and totally unacceptable. Nigeria cannot be a replace. This is a cruel stimulation. Another Twitter user said the ugly incident on this page. Hmm. We have not still gotten the reason why the shootout, you know, a shoot or whatever. Okay, let's see what Nigerians have to say. This is just a friendly match between the two beasts of security force forces. Both the EFCC and the army are the bodyguard of evil politicians. God will continue to expose and disgrace them for making life miserable for Nigerian youths. Hmm. Okay, well, make we hear the next thing. Yesterday, it was soldiers and police that engaged themselves in Imo State. Today, it's EFCC and soldiers, and soldiers in Ogun State. In the end, you will see criminals on uniform. Hmm. What is going on, just like what Nigerians are asking? All these things are just disgrace. Why? What is, what is going on? Why would our security men be fighting themselves? What is the problem? Nigerians are asking questions. This fight is between hmm, them and them. Tavo series, DSS, AK-47 rifle, I mean, small uniform, when they give them, then don't they flesh muscle. Repentant Boko Haram and repentant bandit, hey, hey, he said, EFCC, don't they carry gun too? The same EFCC whose candidates are trained by the Nigerian army is turning it, turning it gun on his trainers. Hmm. Okay. This country don't spoil finish you under this regime. No respect for the rule of law. Again, every organization becoming lawless. Yeah, Nigeria itself is a lawless country. Nigeria itself is not like no man's land. People do whatever they like. So what do you expect? You understand? 
everybody all they are just misbehaving people are me misbehaving up and down where head not get where head not get stand where do you think when go happen to the neck that is just the the pure example of what is going on okay when the security personnel are fighting each other what will be the fate of the citizens you can ask that again this is how Buhari has reduced Nigerian army. The next will be boy scouts versus soldiers. Okay. They will end up destroying themselves. The people that are wearing this uniform are not well educated. You don't use people that are supposed to pro protect life and property as brothers. Or let my in-laws bring someone from their family. Or let that my friend bring his sons. I have a space to put him in Nigerian police or in the army. Nigeria has turned upside down because they are running her like a family business. <laughs> Useless country. When people forget they will die someday, they turn themselves into mini girls. I am expecting military versus police. Many of these people bearing arms and wearing uniforms in Nigeria aren't they are not mentally fit to even operate a vehicle in a sane society. Nigeria has gone mad. Hmm. That's very good. That is very good as long as no civilian got caught. I am happy. Kudos to village people. Their work is starting to manifest between the EFCC and soldiers and police. Oh my God. That is funny. Anyway, I like this news though. Next one should be Navy versus Army, as they did last three years in Port Icarus. Every day, now one, now one way. Be your brother keeper now. Tomorrow, organize friendly march with Nigeria Army and Nigerian police. These are reactions, you know, from some Nigerians who have reacted to this.